Now, viewer discretion is advised. The details on this are very, very grimy and grisly. It's really fascinating as well. It's like, it takes a special kind of human. Listen, bro. I'm from the streets, okay? I've been around hitters, steppers, K-word, I-L-A-L-A-S. I've been around all that. Not anymore, but once upon a time. In a video game, okay? Now, <clears throat> people back in, in that day, when I was coming up, had morals and principles. Even though a person could have uh, uh, turned somebody to a pack, if you will. Like there was certain things you just don't do. Torture was not on them, one of them. Okay, obviously women and kids is a no-no. You get the point. Nowadays, it seems just loose. Winnie the Pooh, a.k.a. Xi Jinping, he's an old cat. He's supposed to have some morals and principles. Maybe he does. Maybe his morals is uh, F the world. Maybe he, when he goes to bed, he thinks of people who call him Winnie the Pooh. And he plays that future song. It says, I've been on some after world shit lately. And I'm grinding to get where I'm at. Seems he's been grinding to get to Taiwan, but <laughs> that's not what we talk about. I don't know what the majority religion is, but there's a, 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 a I guess, a branch of Chinese people. All right, the Uyghur minority. And the Uyghur minority happens to be Muslim. Here's what it's like being Uyghur in China. Uh, off the bat, discrimination has to be given. Um, even if the Chinese people were to get along and say, you know what? We don't care what Winnie the Pooh says. We're both Chinese, okay? We're both Chinese. Winnie the Pooh won't let that happen. He hit them with the propaganda. And on top of that, slave labor. Be a Muslim, holiday. You might get grabbed up off the streets and be put in one of the slave camps. Now I'm going to call it slave camps and I'm going to read some uh, 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 text for you here, but I'm going to refer to it as slave camps. You're going to see the text with me, but you get the gist of it. So the United Nations have dropped allegations on Xi Jinping, a.k.a. Winnie the Pooh, and they accuse him of Human rights violations. I don't know what the UN, like, I don't know if they have any power. Because, again, I'm from Sudan. My people have went through very similar uh, to what the Uyghur is going through. I'm talking my people like my immediate family. I've lost an auntie to it, I've mentioned by the way, I recommend you watch my Red Bill video to give you a clear pick of what I'm talking about so you can see my perspective on things in case you're new here. Now, now Winnie the Pooh was quick to deny the allegations, okay? So let's 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 take a look at the response here from Beijing, uh, uh, where Winnie the Pooh and his gang, uh, aka the CCP, okay, he said, "Hell nah, on oh, CCP, y'all lied on me." I just let's really look at what he said. The assessment. Hold on, let me let me let me get my voice right. <clears throat> the assessment is a patchwork of false information. 
that serves as political tools for the U.S. and other Western countries to strategically use Xinjiang. I'm not even playing, bro. This is Xinjiang to contain China. Foreign Ministry Spokesman Wang Webbin said, Oh, look, that boy Wang was going, <laughs> All right, he said, y'all lied on CCP. Y'all lied on my boy, man. On CCP. Y'all cap. Okay? This this ain't this ain't true. This is just the U.S. and the West coming together, trying to put dirt on my boy. Damn. I put that on CCP. All right? Stop playing with me, man. I'm from Xinjiang, okay? Oh, look. It again shows that the U.N., Human Rights Office has been reduced to an enforcer and accomplice of the U.S. and other Western countries. Holy God damn. They just straight up said that the U.N. is, is an enforcer to these. And listen, I give it to you, man. I am not biased, okay? Maybe a little bit because you did my Muslim people dirty, but When it comes to the UN, at a time, it's not no more, but it used to be a time when women driving was illegal in Saudi Arabia. And just like I've said in the Me Too movement video, these governments like to slap labels on people they don't like. For example, the word, uh, I don't know if it's allowed anymore, but the T word starts with T ends with Errorist. So I'm going to just say T for the rest of the video. It was a woman, I forget her name, a woman that tried to drive to challenge the woman driving at the time. She, uh, she, uh, she drove from Kuwait, I think, to Arabia, and she kept, entered the borders in her car knowing damn well that you, woman driving was super illegal at the time. Big no-no, okay? She was playing with fire. And what happened? They put the T label on her. Yep, she's a T. They charged her with T-ism. And they banned her from traveling. Thank God for the new king who changed things around. But... At that time, this is what's crazy. At that time, if you walked in the UN, who say they, you know, that's a claim, right? Is they're there for human rights and humanitarian, uh, whatever, right? You won't find the North Korea chair. But <laughs> not only did Saudi Arabia have a chair in human rights, okay? They had a chair in the women's rights. Bruh. It was like a sitcom to me, bruh. That's why I don't believe in a lot of this stuff. But let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They at least, uh, UN at least is doing, uh, or pursuing a positive goal, regardless of a bias and intent. Because nothing in life is free, okay? If, if the Americans show up talking about, let me protect your oil. <laughs> Hale, you better protect yourself from them. It's nothing free, okay? Everybody wants some in return. So moving on. Um, Beijing said, y'all capping on CCP, man. I put that on CCP. I put that on Xinjiang. On Xinjiang. On, on Witty. Let's see if they cap it for real or not, okay? I'll be the judge of that, Woody. Today, you sit down. You go find you a nice jar of honey. And let me be the, 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 uh, let me decide for myself. While I still have the rights to, you know? Now, let's take a look here at, uh, the breakdown, you know, to, uh, the report published by the United Nations. In May 2014, in the wake of these developments, 
First of all, shout out to Redacted. Very good YouTubers. They are my source for this whole story. In the wake of these developments, the government launched what is termed a strike hard campaign to combat terrorist threats, which it linked to religious extremism and separatism in Zuar. Now, obviously, when you come to, to eradicate or, or mass exterminate uh, a type of people, kind of like Hitler did the Jews, you can't just do, you can't just wake up and say, hey man, these people gotta go, okay? Why? Because I said so. No. So you gotta polish it and, you know, paint it and make it look good. Kind of like he's doing here. So just like the woman that tried to drive in no driving Arabia, they're gonna hit you with the T label or terrorist. I've said it already. So whenever I'm gonna substitute certain words, but anyway, moving on. In a 2019 paper, the government stated that since 2014, Xinjiang has destroyed 1588 violent and terrorist gangs, arrested 12,000 terrorists, seized 2,000 explosives, punished 30,000 people for 4,000 illegal religious activities. I gotta take a breath. And confiscated 345,000 copies of illegal religious materials. Holla. The government has asserted the success of its approach, reporting that there have been no terrorist incidents since Zuar. I'll be honest, I don't know what happened in Zuar. I'm assuming some, some blew up and it linked back to a Muslim. Could it be an inside job? I don't doubt it with him. Could it be somebody trying to revolt? I also don't blame him. He got them living in a nightmare, kind of cyberpunk dystopia. <laughs> I tell you the truth, if I was Chinese in China, Muslim or not, <laughs> I'd be I'd be starting a guerrilla. I'd be oh, let me chill. But I'd definitely revolt some way somehow. All right, now let's keep going and see see what he's talking about here or what they're talking about. Now I'll be honest, I wanted to know what happened in Zuar in 2014. I did a quick Google search and I, I can't find nothing. All I can find is what's happening to Muslims, Muslim persecution, this and that. So I'm gonna just keep going because I know CCP is known for lying and making up stories or denying stories such as Tiananmen Square. In China, you're not even allowed to admit that Tiananmen Square massacre has happened. So I'm just gonna keep it pushing. Their response or the response from Beijing seems to be that, hey, listen, Yes, we're doing this, but it's not. Don't try to make us look like we're doing slave labor, okay? We just handling the teas, just like y'all handle y'all teas, okay? Let's see this white paper real quick. In the same 2019 white paper, the government stated that education and training in VETC facilities is not a measure to limit or circumscribe the freedom of the person. We're not trying to make them slaves and take away their freedoms and limit them. No. In response, these facilities, I'm sorry, <clears throat> these slave camps are schools by nature. So they're trying to say their school is really where we re-educate them and make the, the dissident uh, 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 Uyghur Muslims who strayed away from the Chinese norm 
the default and you know start doing that Muslim is we really just trying to re-educate them and put the Chinese back you know you know like the white man did in Canada with the natives the boarding schools famous None of the interviewees felt they could challenge the referral process. None had access to a lawyer prior to being sent to a slave labor camp, nor at any point during the time they were present there. So you don't get no lawyer. You don't get to fight it. Okay. You just get picked out. Okay, boom. You a T, bro. Damn, okay. I guess you go on a slave camp. Okay. No lawyers, no, 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 no. No appeal, nothing. Just boom, straight to camp. Crazy. Several went long interrogations in police stations before their eventual placement. Uh, for experience, I'll tell you one thing. These off-the-book kind of interrogations, it's really just them having fun with you. From what I gathered, rarely are they catching real teas. So most of the time, they might catch a, a lurking Chinese dude with a beard. They'd be like, oh boy, Muslim, come here, hop in. They go to the station, you know, they have fun with him, slap him around a few times. I don't know if you know about the bottle, but they did that in Sudan to a couple of people I know. They uh, basically, uh, they, you so look, let's say you went to protest. So they obviously put you in shackles, take you to the station. Uh, when you get there, you get put in a room. And a nice police officer will come in and sit down with you. A chief or somebody higher up, usually. And he will put a table and two chairs. One for you, one for him. And the culture over there, I don't know if it's the same out here, but he might be like, there's a tea boy or, you know, so he called the tea boy and he would be nice to you, really. Kind of like a Western country almost in a way. He'd be like, so tell me, what, uh, what got you out here in these streets protesting or whatnot, huh? What do you want to see change? Now you, of course, thinking that, oh, God, I've been granted an opportunity to express really my uh, concerns, right? So you start yapping, and he's listening. He's like, okay, hold on. Uh, what do you want to drink, by the way? Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi is real popular where I'm from. You know, people ain't watching, they wait. So you might be like, let's say, a 7-Up. Okay, 7-Up, Pepsi for me. Okay. And he'll bring it to you in a cold glass bottle in the hot weather of Sudan, right? This is the heart of Africa. Heat. So that cold bottle, glass bottle, ooh, it hit different. So you drink up, you and him, and you have a nice, interesting conversation. And just when you think everything's sweet and you're done with the bottle, he gets up and grabs his chair and tells you, oh, boy. That's what you're thinking. He tells you, hey, listen, uh, I'm going to leave the room. And I'm going to be back in 15 minutes. When I'm back, I want this glass bottle to disappear. Uh, huh? Yeah, I don't. I want this glass bottle to disappear. So what do you think? What are you going to do? The room, by the way, has no windows. No draining system, nothing. Just four walls and, and four brick walls. and <laughs> That's it. So he takes the chair and the table with him and his bottle. And you're left in a room with a chair and a bottle. A glass bottle, mind you, of 7-Up. You get At least you get to choose it. So they're humanitarian in that, in that sense. These things happen in third world countries all the time. All right? Now, I know what you're thinking. What happened to the bottle? What are you going to do with it? Are you going to shove it up your... Huh? You could. 
Are you going to break it up and eat it? You could. Again, they're humanitarian in, in the sense of they let you pick your poison almost, you know? So you, you can't say that they don't have freedom of choice. He lets you decide, okay? Uh, what happens in the, in the, if he comes back within 15 minutes and that glass bottle is still there? <laughs> now, it depends on your, your assigned officer. Some of them, you know, he might enjoy sticking it in you and letting it break inside you. Would you come out alive? <laughs> I mean, some people do, some don't. But of course, the media would never tell you that. They're going to tell you about Kim Kardashian, Kanye, and, and let one person get hurt in the West. Oh, my God. This happens to millions of people, by the way, unreported. You know, but... Either way, moving on. Not a single interviewee said they were able to exit the facility or go home for a visit at the slave labor camp. All the interviewees observed significant security presence and guards armed with guns or batons, including electrical ones. That's some Chinese ish. And mostly wearing police uniforms. All righty. 20% guys. Based on a methodology employed, it has been estimated around 10, per, 10 to 20% of the adult ethnic population in these countries and townships were subjected to some form of detention between 2017 and 18. Again, info is old, outdated, but good luck trying to get modern day statistics out there in the land of censorship. Now, if you thought censorship was crazy, holla, all right. I want to. I want to take you to a, a, a. Let me let me paint you a picture of a dystopian nightmare. If you will. All right. Pay attention to this part here. Now, if you've watched uh, my fellow YouTuber, Jake Tran. Goat, by the way. Good guy. If you've watched any of his recent videos, I believe he covered this too. But we're going to look, uh, we're going to look a little deeper than he has touched. Okay, you probably already know about the surveillance and, and, and the nightmarish situation out there, right? But let's let's dig let's dig into the laws of it. So, <clears throat> the Counter Terrorism Law (CTL) and Jing Yang implementing measures (ZIM), for example, authorized public security organs, aka the goons for the CCP to employ techni technological investigative invest investigative measures and to collect and retain data regarding numerous aspects of individuals hardly lives including personal data and biometric good lord the criminal procedure law cpl allows these authorities to use special investigative techniques, including electronic surveillance. Keep in mind, out there, you can get locked up for liking, liking, yes, a Facebook post of, 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 of a Western, let's say, ideology. So you can see the nightmare situation, right? But CTL authorizes imposition of range of restrictive measures on suspects, not convict suspects, including orders to not leave the city or to not uh, use public transport. Good Lord, man, imagine. 
All right, you can't you can't take the bus. By law, you're banned from it. Like they got your fingerprint. You can't circumvent it. Try to go get food. Too bad. It shouldn't have been a Uyghur Muslim. And not to communicate with certain persons, to hand over passports, and to periodically report to the authorities. So you got a PO for being holy. Let's play devil's advocate and keep going here. For example, telecommunications and internet providers must put information content monitoring, monitoring systems, aka snitching systems, in place to provide to in place and provide public security officials with decryption and other technical support. So you trying to be private with it? Huh? You think you sweet? You think you slick? Huh? What you think you is? AK the Bree? You been listening to that? Now you think you about to encrypt? Oh no, that's not a lot of China. By law, they're forced to decrypt your stuff and just strip you of any privacy, if any. And local governments are required to use technology alongside other measures to prevent the spread of terrorism and extremism, meaning censorship and suppression of news and propaganda in other ways. I right? translation for you. And to ensure that the public areas of the city as needed are equipped with public security video image info systems. Keep in mind, they got facial recognition. So they know where, where you moving at all times. They know you, it's you. All right, and AI knows you at this point. Oh man, you walk the certain way, you dress in a certain, hold on, what's up with him? Boom, take 200 points off the social credit. Now he can't even take the bus. Now he can't even, like you see what I'm saying? This is, this is crazy. Nightmare, straight out of a cyberpunk science fiction nightmare novel. You know, if you told me this 10 years ago, that this would be the future, I would have said you lying. And people did warn of that. But we said they lying. We said they lying. Now look at it. <sighs> Moving on. Let me try to stay calm here today, okay? Keep let's keep moving. Now, okay. They coming at it. Winnie and his gang have said that. Okay, see you guys are saying we do a slave labor, we evil. Nah bruh, we just trying to look out for our public safety. Yeah, I've heard that before. But one may wonder. I ask myself, what type of crimes qualify you to uh, enter this? Because, uh, uh, you know, they, they said a lot of mumbo jumbo, but they didn't explain it. You know, illegal religious material. That could be anything, bro. Yeah. You know? So let's really look at the crimes that qualify you to uh, uh, enter the slave labor camp, all right? Let's see if they're really committing human rights violations, or they just treating the the T's with the with the with the treatment they, you know, deserve in their mind, right? Various in you know, cool whatever, various reasons for referral to a slave camp are described as a so-called Caracax list. Caracax. Okay. Let's, I'm, I'm not going to say these big words. Let's keep it rolling. A document which is in the public domain appearing to be a government document, possibly from 019, and high, highly likely to be authentic. This list consisting, this list consisting of a spreadsheet with information 
about Uyghur trainees, aka slaves, in uh, slave count in one specific district in Zuar includes 311 uh, individuals and the reasons for their uh, referrals, aka kidnapping. These reasons include having too many children. Huh? That's a crime? Having too many children? Golly, I mean, I get it. It's China. They got the big population. I get it. So having too many children is a crime. Good Lord. Being an unsafe person, quote unquote. That could mean anything, okay? All right. R. Kelly was an unsafe person. But, you know, you put a, you put a, you know, you put a, 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 a certain, I'm not, I'm not going to go into details, but you put a couple cocktail of, of, of medication, let's just say, in front of me, I become unsafe person to that medication. Everybody is unsafe in a way. So it, just the quotes let you know that this is, yeah, this is just a blanket statement. All right, moving on. Being unsafe, oh, ooh. being born in certain years. Oh my God, hold on, I need a drink. Let me drink some more. Hello. Let me read, let me make sure I'm sure I'm not sleepy or hallucinate being born in certain years imagine bruh you just chilling right or you driving you get pulled over viewer dear viewer you're under arrest for what what i do for being born in 97 huh what being born in certain years are you like bro you got you at this point you're insulting me by, by lying to my face and telling me that you're not persecuting these people. Like at this point, you didn't even try hard here. Being born in certain years, come on, bro. At least the unsafe person, that was a classic government tactic of, of, of hiding, but being born in certain, come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> you know, when I turned 11, when I, when I was 11, I turned 13 because F12. Come on, bro. Being born in certain years. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This one blew me back. What do you mean that's a crime? <sighs> Let me not go get crazy. It's 3 in the morning. I'm trying not to be too aggravated by this. It's too loud. I get loud. I get aggravated when I, I get agitated. Okay, so being an ex-convict, I get it. Wearing a veil, so Muslim woman, or or beard, Muslim man. Haven't applied for a passport and not left the country. How is that a crime, bro? You should be congratulating, dude. Having a passport and not leave. So what, what's what's the crime there? How is that? I don't know, man. I guess we, if you try to understand, we need a pool. All right. Again, this is the same person who outlawed, who banned or made it illegal to call him. We need a pool. Okay. That's why I'm going to call him. We need a pool as long as I have the right to. For the Uyghurs who can't call him that. Okay. Oh my God, man. Crazy, 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 crazy. One person in his gang got uh, uh, 1.2 billion, 1.4 billion. That's the population. 1.4 billion live in pure just nightmare stuff. You see when I tell you the division? And whenever you see someone fighting for privacy or whatever, and you quick to just make jokes, remember, all right, power corrupts. Stanford prison experiment. Power corrupts. It proved it. 
I pray to God we don't wake up and, and, and there's a social credit or, or crazy mass surveillance. Because you might be like, oh, you got nothing to hide. Well, a lot of Uyghurs ain't had nothing to hide. But bruh, what if it's a crime to be born <laughs> in 97? Holla. You see what I'm saying? Keep, yeah, keep your mind open, man, because a small group of people, probably a few hundred or less, led by Winnie the Pooh, got 1.4 billion living in a nightmare. Imagine if these 1.4 billion said, F Winnie the Pooh, man, I had enough. You'd be gone in an instant. A billion people. But then again, I guess they love them or propaganda or, you know, how do you keep your grip on power on 1.4 billion? I guess we've, we've seen it here today. This is how, okay? Slave camps and surveillance and, and scary nightmare and social credit. Most people ain't trying to revolt. Most people are just trying to go to work, go to home, you know? But it's sad, man. I feel for these people. Being born in certain years, bruh, this one just took me out. <laughs> Gotta be a joke. Oh, la. Now, when it comes to nightmare stuff, okay, when it comes to nightmarish material, you can always count on him. You can always count on Winnie the Pooh. All right, funny enough, this morning I heard they made a they came up with a scary movie. This is real. They, ca they came up with a scary movie based on Winnie the Pooh, the character, the teddy bear. Since the copyright for Winnie the Pooh had expired. Now, I don't know why they had to go through the trouble of making such a fictional character when you got the real scary Winnie the Pooh <laughs> running CCP, all right? Now, this right here, this part, oh, let's look at this chair. Guys, are you looking at the screen? If you're not looking at the screen, I don't know, let me drink some water. If you're not looking at the screen, I invite you to look at the screen real quick. And pick, look at this chair right here. This is called a tiger chair, all right? Straight night, nightmarish material. Now let's read through it. During interrogations, or as a form of punishment for alleged wrongdoing, their accounts included being beaten with batons, including electrical batons, while strapped in a so-called tiger chair. Being subjected to interrogation with water being poured in their faces, that is waterboarding. That is one of a, uh, a popular form of torture. Or uh, in their faces, prolonged solitary confinement, holla, and being forced to sit motionless on small stools for prolonged periods of time. Now. Winnie the Pooh, I don't know why you went politics. They could have easily had you be the front man for Squid Game. Because you're, you're good at this. You're natural. A tiger chair, bruh? Persons reported, reporting beatings for confessions described being taken to interrogation rooms that were separate to the cells or dormitory spaces where people were staying. Over two-thirds of the individuals also reported that prior to their transfers to a <clears throat> slave camp, they were held in police stations where they described similar instances of being beaten while also immobilized in a tiger chair in those facilities. Now, bro, if you want to beat me up, go ahead. If you want to torture me, go ahead. But don't tie me up, bruh, in a tiger chair. Look at that tiger chair. Don't tie me up. At least let me defend myself. At least let me hit you back a little bit so it's fair game. All right? Tiger chair, bruh. 
Imagine being beaten with electrical badness while sitting in one of those chairs, bro. For the evil, evil crimes of being born in the wrong year. Oh, the... Like, being in China seems like a nightmare, bruh. That's crazy. Moving on. Now, let's take a look here. According to the government's paper on vocational education and training. And stop, stop lying in my face, Winnie the Pooh. Okay? Stop it, bruh. You're insulting my intelligence. You're calling me stupid by trying to convince me that what type of education and training includes waterboarding and being beaten with electrical bands while being strapped to a tiger chair. The only education is education on how to feel pain. The only training is training for BDSM, not the pleasurable kind. Anyway, three categories of individual categories of individuals can be held in such centers. The first category includes individuals who have been convicted for terrorist or extremist crimes and who are upon completion uh, or and who are upon completion of their sentence assessed as still posing threat to society. So let's say they put the label on you, you serve your time. But you know what? When he's like, nah, bruh. I feel like he's still got it in him. He's still a T. So they put you back in there for more <clears throat> education, okay? Education, if you will. Such people are, according to the law, sent to slave camps by a court decision. Which they can't appeal, remember? No lawyer, no nothing. Just... Yep, I decide you go into slave camp. That's it. The second category includes people who were incited, incited, coerced, or induced into participating in a terrorist or extremist activities. Or people who participated in terrorist or extremist activities in circumstances that were not serious enough to constitute a crime. So even if you... <laughs> participated or whatever in, 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 in the categories that is not a crime, all right? Maybe you were born in the right year, okay? Maybe you didn't have too many children. But well, guess what? If we view you as still a terrorist, even if it's not enough to constitute a crime, nah, you still need some education. Get them out of here, son. Get them in the head with the head, son. Get them out of here, son. Ooh, those facilities can be referred to as VETC, aka slave camps, upon a decision from the police. So not, not no court needed. All right, you wear a uniform. You don't like buddy. Hey man, guess what? <laughs> slave camp for you. You know Oprah. Slave camp for you. Slave camp for you. Slave camp for you. The third category consists of people who were incited, coerced, or induced, da 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 Man, I did not cause actual harm or real danger. Bruh. This, this is just made, I feel like it's made so general and, and just like a blanket statement so it can be used on anybody, any kind of way. Just like I spoke about in the Me Too movement. With that boy, Julia, they couldn't get him on a real crime. They made a crime up. And with the Me Too movement, Believe All Women, it was easy to get them in. No evidence needed. You see the games being played? Do you see the games being played? Me Too was never about women. They don't care about no woman, bro. Right? Uh-huh. This was about getting you locked up with uh, 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 the least... With no evidence needed whatsoever. You get it? This ain't about no woman. Wake up. Now, in heat of all the, all the, all the, 
in the heat <laughs> where the whole world is now focused on these uh, slave camps that they that they got going on. Winnie the Pooh said, hey, bruh, ain't no slave camps here. He tried to say, ain't no camps in here, bruh. What are you talking about? That's old. That's old news. Okay, let's let's look at this part. In summary, based on information, da da dee, da da da. Let's let's just skip to it. The government has indicated that slave camps are now closed. Matter of fact, yeah, they're closed. Yeah, we closed up. Yeah, we had a couple slaves and we beat them and put them in a tiger chair for crimes such as being born in the wrong. Yeah, we. Yeah, you know what? We might have. Oopsie. My bad, bruh. Okay. You know, Winnie the Pooh is clumsy. All right. He was just wanting some honey. He got lost along the way and caught a couple of slaves. It is what it is, bruh. And that all trainees have graduated. So, yeah, all of our students, they graduated. Okay. They got certificates and being upstanding Chinese citizens. Okay. Xi Jinping. Thereby suggesting that these facilities are made no longer may not, not may no longer be in use. Now, OHCHR is not in a position to confirm this, which is primarily due to the lack of relevant or official relevant official or other information since the end of 019. And Access for on-the-ground verification. So, they said, okay, you know what? You said it's closed, right? Let me see. Let me come in on the ground, all right, and take a look at these facilities myself and see whether they're uh, still open or closed and see whether they're slave camps. Or like you said, this is just a school, an educational center where people graduate with flying colors or maybe not so flying colors, Okay. Of course, China is not very open to the idea of outsiders coming in and verifying what's going on. Oh, they're trying to verify, G. All right, get get the PR team on, on, on go, bro. On CCP, they ain't finna find out. Oh, Regardless, considerable, considerable concerns remain, most notably due to the fact that the legal a policy framework that underpins the operation of the VET system, aka slave system, remains in place and to the to the extent not currently employed could be re-engaged at any point. So even if they close the foundation, the framework that allows this, the rules, all that, is still there. So even if you're right, Winnie, the Pooh. And you said you closed them. Let's play devil's advocate. The laws and everything is still there. So at any given time, what's to say you can't just snap a, f a finger, snap a finger, and all of a sudden people are back being slaves? You feel what I'm saying, bro? You see the dirty game here? Close, huh? Yeah, we closed shop. No more slaves. Oh, le he straight up said, Nothing to see here. Move along. Move along. <laughs> we closed. Shop is closed. No more slaves here. Move along. Move along. Go bother somebody else, Westerners. Uh, but the people ain't convinced, bruh. The people not having it. What are you talking about? Google Earth shows or paints a completely different picture. You're talking about his clothes, right? Furthermore, the new construction or expansion of buildings with high security features, especially after 019, when the info stopped coming out officially, visible through public source satellite imagery, aka Google Earth, appears to suggest an increase in detention facilities being established. Not a decrease, not a stop, not a close. You look on the left here, that's 2018. Google Earth 2018, all right? It's showing, see, you got a couple slave camps going on. Not too crazy. On the right side, 2020, 
I don't see you stopping, bro. I don't, it don't look like shop is closed. It look like you've established yourself more and more and more. In fact, almost dr triple what you had before. I say all that to say, man, listen. This has been a hard story to cover. It weighed on me mentally, spiritually, all that. I pray for the Chinese people. I wish I could help you myself, but the least I can do is at least bring info to light. And I feel for you. I was raised Muslim, so this feels like this could have been my family members. And my family members did go through similar experiences. But for the people in the rest of the world that are lucky enough to have rights and be able to fight, yet they choose to be NPCs, I want to remind you that when you choose to give up your rights and, and choose to believe all women and choose to just not question things and turn off critical thinking and just be dumb. And when people come up and try to fight privacy, you, you actually join the oppressor side talking about, you don't need privacy. What do you need that for? What are you hiding? I want you to take a good look here at this case today. This is where it could, this is where, this, this could be any country at any given point. This is not something from the 90s or whatever. This is 2022 we're in. In fact, when he's got worse since, more nightmare ish. Oh my God, now I gotta censor it. More nightmarish, I meant to say. Yeah. This is the danger of it. This this could be any any country, any given time. It got worse. It's now social, social credit system, mass surveillance, all type of ish. So prayers go out to the Chinese people, man. I just wanted to go deep and dive into it a little bit more. All right. I pray that the next couple of stories or next couple of videos are are more are not as negative as this. Um, the first half of it, I started off calm. I started off doing this video at like three in the morning after hours of research. And shout out to Redacted for being one of the few uh, uh, warriors of of of, of true info. Uh, stop watching CNN. Stop watching Fox. Legacy media is done. These days, you can't count on them. All right? Redacted, I recommend them very well. Hit the like button, smash subscribe button, leave a comment for the algorithm, click share, and also go tap in with Redacted. Uh, again, we need a poo. I'm going to keep coming for you, bro, because you, you, you stick out to me like a sore thumb. Maybe you should have. Maybe you should leave politics alone and go end up uh, in a movie, the uh, scary movie by Winnie the Pooh. All right, I'm gonna leave you at this one, man. Let me know what you think in the comment box. It's your boy AK. Peace out.